nearly 2,000 miles from St. Louis, in a small house outside Spokane, Washington, 86-year-old Kay Shea is suffering. Just terrific pain. Just, it never ends. In 2011, Shea was driving in Franklin County when she was hit head on by a teenager who was running errands for a Sullivan restaurant. I don't remember the accident. I just remember a loud bang. After months at Mercy Hospital and multiple surgeries, her x-rays revealed the damage. This is her left ankle. Metal rods run throughout her body. This is the right knee. Her family coined her the nickname, the Iron Lady. The medical bills, astronomical. 800,000. And have those been paid? They have not been. Turns out the accident was only the first nightmare, dealing with insurance companies the second. I'm the Iron Lady. Leading Shay's nephews to produce this documentary, blasting farmers insurance and two subsidiaries of Nationwide. To me, it appears that it's more legal extortion than it is anything else. The documentary reveals both the driver and the restaurant owner had plenty of insurance. There is no question of fault. A jury sided with Shea. She was awarded more than $2 million in October of last year. The judgment hasn't been paid. The insurance companies filed a motion asking for a new trial. Do you think the insurance company has your best interest in mind? No. No. I do not. This woman is 86 years old. Does that play into this? Absolutely. Attorney Brad Wilmoth is not connected with the case in any way, but he is an expert in personal injury litigation. He says insurance company stall tactics can drag on for years, and faced with appeals, some families feel pressure to take less, especially when the victim is older. They're probably hoping for a cheap settlement on appeal or hoping to get it reversed. And so do you see this a lot? In every substantial verdict, you get this kind of stuff. The pain pill, the nerve pill. Today, Shay takes medicine to control her pain. She says her legs feel as heavy as lead. Okay, here we go. And she needs help walking okay. and sitting. Oh. There we go. Now realizing she will never come home to Missouri, where she spent her entire life. I had to give up my home, all my furniture, all my possessions, friends, everything. Nationwide will only say they are aware of the situation and working to resolve it. Farmer says they sympathize with Shea. They call it a complex case with multiple insurers. Okay. The Shea family calls it lip service. Shea herself doesn't trust them. I just don't think they care about me. I'm just an old lady. And I think they really think maybe I'll die before they pay off. But I'm not going to. As sad as this might sound, it's not illegal. The insurance companies have a right to file their motions and appeals. Lawyers can drag this process out for a long time through sophisticated legal proceedings. For people like Kay Shea, that means suffering longer and the possibility of having to endure a new trial. Of course, I'll let you know how this plays out. Chris Nagus, News 4.